Right, this is Emil Johansson, straight out of Sweden. He's 17 year old, and this is his pro bike check. Right before we kick off this pro bike check in the slope style industry and when you're riding that you want to keep that bike super light so this bike comes in at 2510 which is 11.35 kilos. Right I'm going to start off with the frame it's a Trek Ticket S and I'm going to come down to this little rear shock here it's a slope style bike and it's a Monarch RT3 Rock Shock and it's a hundred mil of travel I'm not too sure on pressure wise what he's got in there but I'm guessing it's super hard so I'm going to have to ask him that question. Right, moving on to the saddle. This saddle here is designed specifically for his legs to slide in here so he can hook that saddle and spin those bars. This is the Chromag Liaison Series saddle. And then underneath this is a Truvida full carbon seat post to keep that weight under control and down. And moving on to the drivetrain, I'm going to start off with the pedals. They're Chromag Connect, wide platform pedal for those big feet of his. Moving on to the cranks, SRAM XO, full carbon crank. He's got a 30 tooth sprocket on the front here. And then moving on to the back, he's got SRAM XO again, derailleur, but this is a crazy setup because it's single speed, but he's using this. And the reason why is because you don't really need gears out on the slope style, you only need one gear. But why he's running this is because there's chain growth. When that suspension compresses, you have to allow for that chain to grow. I'm moving on to the rear wheel build. I'm going to start off with the brake. This is an Avid BB7 Road SL. This caliper is specifically built for road, but he's using it on his bike. Moving on to the hub, Industry 9. These are special hubs. These have his name on it. But the rim that's built onto this nice gold hub is a Industry 9 rim. It's full Enduro rim, but it's super strong. And then the rubber that's around it is a Max's DTH, and it's a 2.15 width of tire. Moving up to the front, on the fork side of things is a RockShock DJ Pike. It's 100 mil of travel. Pressure-wise, I'm not too sure I'm going to have to ask him that, but I'm guessing still a little bit harder than normal. But the special thing about this, he's got his name on it and he's running his national flag right there. Right on the wheel build side, on the front, it's much like the rear. It's an Industry 9 wheel build. It's got his name on that nice gold hub in the front as well. Right, moving up to the cockpit, I'm going to start off with his grips. These are the Chrome Mag wax grips. Super wide on here for those big hands of his. I'm going to move on to the bars, these are Foo bars, running at 735 in length. Then he's got a 31 reach, this is a Chromag Ranger V2 stem. But then underneath the stem you can see it looks a bit different. This is a BMX setup, this is a gyro, this is the Odyssey gyro. So basically this helps him spin those bars continuously so he doesn't have any cables to deal with that are going to get tangled up when he's throwing those big tricks. Right, we've got the big Swede, Imal. Imal, tell us about your bike, right? There's a few things that the crowd want to know. I want to know, actually, what's the PSI on your rear shock? Max PSI, Max 275. PSI, 275, wow. With that, a high tune, so. Yeah. Have you got it's any, kind of stiff, but it works yeah. Have you got any volume spaces in that? Uh, no, no. Just full, like full thing. Right, on the front, PSI-wise, what are you doing that as well? Have you got uh, bungs in there? And yeah, I got two tokens, those two red things. Yep. Uh, and then 200 PSI. Okay, wicked. Another thing, PSI and tires. It was a uh, depend on the course. Yeah, I, when I pump it up, it's four and a half. Always. Okay. And Very nice. Depends on where I'm riding. Sometimes only four, sometimes five. Depends yeah, yeah. If I'm riding park or yeah, dirt yeah. jumps. Yeah, okay. Another question, do you ride hardtails much or is it just mainly on your slope style bike, everyday uh, rider? I have ridden this bike since January, so. Oh, wow, okay. I yeah. haven't even touched the hardtail. No, there you go. New to the Trek team, hey? Yeah. Stoked right. on that. I've seen this here. Look at this. This setup. Is this your, is this your thing? Is this your doing? Uh, yeah. I had problems uh, on like old bikes that a chain kept popping off. Yeah, so yeah. I've always been scared of it happening again. Okay. Because you crash really bad every time. So yeah. I just keep it in place with two sprockets on each side of 
they spark it out, right? Yeah, yeah. That's I like that. It's genius. Yeah, That's well, a hack good. for sure. <laughs> bike hack, yeah. yeah. Um, any tweaks that you like to have on your bike that you want to have there? Uh, yeah, I like to have my seat a little bit higher than yeah the average person. Yeah, because yeah. I have long legs and I do a lot of bars, so I want to yes. be able to grab the seat with my knees. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I, have my brake level like really far down. People that try my bike don't like it at all. No, yeah, that does look loud. Yeah. I wouldn't. I would, yeah. But <laughs> when I'm riding, I'm like you like this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in a tight so. position. Nice. So with the gyro, you're getting on with this because with a hydraulic brake, it's there and it's not. With this, it's BMX. It's like kind of using. Yeah. It's mechanical. It's mechanical, and I could do all the work myself. Okay. I could like have spare cables with me when I'm traveling. Yeah. So if they would break, I just pick them up from my backpack yeah, yeah. and put it on. Yeah, you don't have to bleed minutes, the brake. So yeah. It is nice. really good to have mechanical, I think. Yeah, yeah. And the frame size, is this a medium size frame or is it a large, small? What it is size just frame? a regular size. Regular, regular size, so medium. Maybe kind of small for me yeah. for being that tall, but <laughs> it is really good. That's Spins good. very fast. Like, nice. Yeah. Right, thank you so much Emil for showing us your pro bike, us and the viewers out there. And if you want to know what dirt jumping is all about, click just down here. And if you want to start dirt jumping, click just down here. Don't forget to click this rad little globe to subscribe and you won't miss another video. Or if you just like this video, you could click a thumbs up. Yeah, you better.